The Minister of Women Affairs and Social Development, Honorable Oju Kennedy Ohaneye, has said she is going to fight corruption in her ministry at all levels as the act of corruption has created pains and hardship among Nigerian women across the country. She made the statement in the government house Asaba, the state capital. Our Saba correspondent Akpomajero Friday reports that Honorable Uju Kennedy Oheneye said it's time to work and partner with the state government at all levels as a way to checkmate the corruption and build a better society for women and girl child. Some of these machines I'm talking about are not expensive. I don't know what women will do with $500 million. That's about $780 billion. If they decide to share it amongst every Nigerian, Every Nigerian, including every baby, everybody will get 10, 10 million without looking back. And also, that solves the problem. Then say, telling me you're giving it for Nigeria for Women Project, they cut off a consultancy, they cut off this. By the time all these things are done, you may not even see up to 50 or 100 million to deal with. And Nigeria is owing up to that big amount. We don't need the loan. I've called a lot of individuals advocacies, advocacies, meetings. That's where they're siphoning the money from. If we put an end to these things, I wonder how, what, the, what English they will use to siphon our money. And we start monitoring them. So that's why I'm gathering that work after 15th, which we will start with the mobile courts, going in Abuja to pick the beggars. Because most times, when they provide money, they tell you it's for the poor. It still goes back to the rich. The poor are suffering. They gather people with two, that 250 million. They said they're addressing the issue of early marriages. I've gotten up one day and I asked them, where are those people that give out their children early? They are the poor ones. But the people I'm seeing here are all the rich ones. No rich man gives out his, his or her daughter at a young age. They train them in school and they allow them to pick their, their, their spouses. Or you would do program and you call it for out of school children. You call it for early marriages. And you bring their lights to fill up the hall just to spend the money instead of using it to change the lives of these Nigerians whom we all know that it is their right. It's not a crime to be a woman and it's not a crime to be a Nigerian. Nigeria is full of milk and honey, but people are suffering and all of us are keeping quiet. I don't buy it. On his part, the acting governor of Delta State, Sir Mondi Onyeme, said the Delta government is ready to partner with the ministry in building a better society for women, as supporting women is one of the major programs of Governor Sheriff Oborowere led administration. To say that Delta State government will partner with your ministry in any way you wish us to partner so that we can move our country forward and make life easier for our people, especially our women folks. With your direction and your thinking, and I wish you uh, success, because your success is the success of all Nigerians. People should take responsibility and try to change, you know, the way we do things that have not been working for us in the past. That is the only way we can achieve that greatness, that freedom that we have desired and that have eluded us for so many years. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.